whenever there is a, a difficult situation, often you will ask, why me? No? Why I have to go through all this? You know, what I have to learn for this? You, this you don't ask. <laughs> you don't ask what I have to learn for this. <laughs> but you look at the situation and feel frustrated. You know, feel like you said here. You feel many offensive thoughts arise, you know. Because, you see, you feel offended because you are looking only about yourself. You, know, you have so much focus upon your hurt, you have so much focus about uh, uh, upon your pity self, but you are looking for excuses to pity yourself. You, know, you may say, yes, uh, you know, uh, the, the fault is up towards God, Guru, towards life. In reality, it's not about that. It's about you. Why me? Not others. But everybody go through certain things. Some people like to express it outside and some people don't like to express it outside. It's not that uh, their life is very flowery and great. You know? Some people hide it behind a smile. Some people hide it behind anger. So many character people express their, their, their how say, in a feeling, in a things which, uh, which arise. It's not that, uh, but very few really ask the question, what I have to learn for that situation? You see, if God will be the cause of your sadness or your, I say, difficult situation, if Guru will be the, the, the cause of your difficult situation, if life itself is the cause of the situation, no, it's not. Who is the cause of your pity all this? It's you. Of course, then you would like to put it on Guru, you would like to put it on God, you would like to put it on your life itself, thinking that you are perfect. No. So if you want to change, change your mind. You see, don't entertain all these thoughts, you know. You think by having offensive thoughts towards God, towards Guru, towards life, you think of yourself being too great. You know? To have such thoughts, you have to be in the same level, firstly. You are not that level. You are even not even yet there, you know. So why you entertain all these thoughts? Let your thoughts rise, you know. Let your thoughts be pure towards Him. You know, when we look at the, the, the when Bhagwan incarnate himself, you know, when the descent of the Lord happened, you know, for example, we take uh, Lord Rama, for example, you know, when Ram was incarnate, when Ram incarnated on earth, Ravana also came, no? But don't underestimate Ravan. Ravana was so great but he has full right to fight with the Lord. And he has so full right, that's why he himself came to fight with Rama, with, uh, with Ravana. Imagine this relationship. How great must be this Ravana. But Bhagwan leave Vaikuntha, come on earth to kill him. Amazing. Eh? How great must be Hiranyakashipu for Bhagwan to leave Vaikuntha, take appearance from a pillar, how he said, to fulfill his wish. How merciful he is. Eh? How great is the Lord himself, you know, to come to leave Vaikuntha incarnate as Krishna to kill Kamsa. These demons, even if they were very terrifying, they were very cruel in their deeds, they were great bhaktas also. That's why I said, you know, when you have your enemy, an enemy, the mind of an enemy is so dear to the beloved, you know. So that's why Bhagwan, when, he, he, when the, they were cursed, Jaya Vijaya was cursed, he said, 
what when the sages said, I'll give you thousand life being a devotee. They said, no. You will choose only free life being your enemy. Who want? If they which is eternal, for them time doesn't exist. Use your brain a little bit. Think, this Jaya Vijaya, these two guys which is standing there, they are eternal. They, as Bhagwan is eternal, they are eternally guarding Vaikuntha. Hmm? For them, which is so dear to Shri Narayana, it, was, it will pain them to incarnate only thousand times as devotee on this world. Imagine thousands of lives is nothing. For how much you all have taken lives, thousand lives is nothing. Even that they refuse. They refuse to incarnate thousand life as a devotee. They choose to incarnate three times as enemy. And he also Bhagavan blessed them said, Look, as being an enemy, you will continuously think about me. Your mind will absorb in me. They are eternal, they choose only three times to come. You who have been also, you are also eternal, yet you choose to be millions of times to come. Even when Guru and God himself come on earth to remind you, still you think that your mind is too great, you will choose the world. Imagine how cheap you have placed life. And here in the question you say, I feel hurt towards life. You don't feel hurt towards life because you are so deaf that you can't even hear what uh, your soul is calling upon. And those who have ears to hear, they hear. Uh, that is a different. You know. <laughs>